Hello, welcome to MindTrack.net game server. Um, I'm on the A and uh, happy to say for the most part she's all done. Uh, quarters and everything have all been filled in. All the rooms have details. There's somebody standing there. I'm just find out who that is. ST Sparks. Or Spark. Star Trek Spark. Anyways, um, yeah. I just got done placing the final updated block. That block right there. Yep, right there. That blue block was the last block. Anyways, um, Car Ramrod came on and he uh, pointed out that I needed to do these stained glass. I had them clear glass, so thank you, uh, Car, for that. Those look really nice. Thank you. He's uh, working on his uh, Lakota build over on the uh, Star Trek. Um, uh, MC server. So, did some work in through here, and uh, of course there's a lot of detail work that'll probably get done. We call it um, fit uh, fit and finish, and you know, finishing out ships and stuff, but for the most part, all the interior work has been done. Um, I went ahead and revamped some of the uh, uh, problem spots that were found in the last video. And I also incorporated a couple of uh, impellers suggestions. Um, I changed the off red to deep red. Um, he did on the D, he accented the uh, RCS thrusters with a deep red instead of the the uh, light colored red and I uh, took Mad Squirrel's um, idea from his RCS thrusters and added uh, did this so you can thank uh, Mad Squirrel for that for that idea. Also did some work more work inside of the uh, Arboretum here. Let me uh, grab my compass. Um, again, I haven't done anything with this. I'm going to leave this open for right now as like a balcony kind of a thing. You know, like an area, open area where they can dance or do whatever they do. But I've added a few more trees. Um, I didn't really know what else to do, so I went and laid carpet down in a lot of the areas um, to give it a bit of a, uh, whoops, run into a tree there, a bit of a um, more completed feel. Did the same thing down in here, kind of give it a little private you know, like a captain's little room here, or whatever you want to call it, but um, yeah, it, to me it looks a lot better. Um, Mad's uh, ship um, that we toured a couple of days ago really, really inspired me. I gotta say, that that was a really nice thing to look at, and it, helped, it was very helpful. Also, um, oops, I did want to fix these, so now, now we're gonna lay down the last of the blocks. Darn it. Gotta make sure I uh, stop bouncing around like a dweeb here and do it right. Okay, now we're done. <laughs> Gonna be in a constant state of upgrade. Anyways, um, zip over here real quick. I did some changes in the uh, wreck area here. Um, as you can see, it's a slightly different. The reason for it is there's an elevator shaft that goes right along here. And down, this is, um, I, I snagged this here from uh, uh, Django. He's reworking the uh, Starbase 117, and I wanted to, you know, put a little piece of his work in here. So this is from Django. You know, this is the Django reflection waterfall. As a thank you to Django for a lot of the ideas I got for this. I, you know, it could be changed around and, and dolled up a little bit, but I'll leave that to Django to do if he wants to. But anyways, um, I had to rework the, you know, the exercise things here a little bit, and I had to remove them from over here because I couldn't do it the way I wanted to do it and still pull it off. Um, everything else is pretty much the same, except I did rework this area here. Again, the the elevator shaft goes right along here, so and I'll show you here real quick. Beforehand, the the roof of it was the floor above us and I did not like that and we had I had pressure plates here and I just hated when I would fall down here to go click 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 it just looked cheesy so I figured ah oh, better gray carpet than nothing and then I went oh man I really need to fix all this so that's what I did now it's all one turbo lift I think it pull I think we pulled it off pretty nice but yep and um the only thing I haven't done yet, and we will do that right now. Again, like I said, a lot of little little fit and finish polish things. So she's never, the sh a ship is never really ever done. It's just 
done ish <laughs> but yeah um, reworked all the red I even realigned these uh, um, access ports terminals so now they're all uniform around the saucer and I fixed up a little bit of the um, underside of the ship as well had some issues that I didn't catch before um, just real minor things nothing to, uh, to shake a stick at uh, mainly uh, with these phaser strips here they uh, were indented they needed to be a little bit more visible so I did that uh, I think it works works well somebody fixed the uh, deflector dish thank you whoever did that thank you thank you thank you um, Probably Matt, or excuse me, probably De Bomb or somebody saw it and probably fixed it. I don't know, but thank you. Anyways, a lot of the ship is, uh, <laughs> I gotta say, near completed. And, like I said, it is, it is, I think, the first time I've ever truly finished, for the most part, a Constitution class. Um,. I'm sitting here and I'm looking at her right now, and I was talking to M. Heller and a few of the guys that are on the server. Just think of how many Star Trek fans, I mean absolute diehard fans, would would just dream, who do, just dream about being able to walk on one of these ships, you know? Just, just do what we're doing right now, walking down this corridor, looking inside of this ship, and be actually able to explore a ship like this. I mean, from stem to stern, top to bottom, bow to, you know, whatever. Uh, Kessel. I don't remember the term for it. But be able to just walk around and look at this stuff. You know, when I was a kid in Star Trek, um, the original series was like one year's... I, in fact, I think the series ended the year I was born. And, yeah, I'm that old. And I was like 10 or 11 years old when the motion picture came out and Kirk stepped out of the uh, lift over there, or the lift... Um, stepped into the ship and you saw this Bay Area for the first time. I remember being, and then we saw engineering for the first time. I remember thinking to myself, man, I would give anything to be able to explore that ship. My father worked with naval ships, so uh, I was able to go on board naval ships. Um, well, not go on board them, but see them up close. And um, I, I think that's where I got my love for uh, starships and stuff. It's just the sheer size of these things and what they're designed to do. Um, but as a Star Trek fan, I would have given my uh, left kidney and to go on board one of these things and do what we're doing right now. And this is all possible because of Minecraft. And here it is, you know. This ship has been an ongoing work of art. And well, ongoing work, I would say it's art. But, um, well, it, you know, it is. In a way it is. Because there's a lot of artistic design in this. M. Heller, myself, uh, Brain Pop, who you, um, helped with this helped with this system here, organizing this system, uh, the bomb, I panic, Mad Squirrel, Loki. Uh, I, the list is just endless. Is how many people have, have contributed in one way or another to this thing? I mean, uh, Kucinich, the Cus Prize, had a lot of inspiration for this as well. Uh, granted, we have not done the Azteking of the Hall. That's something I won't do. It's just um, too tedious. Uh, I, I'm not saying it won't ever get done. It probably will, but I won't be the one to do it. Um, everyone that has contributed to this build, thank you, and you all should take a bow for it because you know even if it's just placing one block or offering one suggestion uh, or pointing out one flaw that needed to be fixed, it was all a big help, and it shows when you come on the server and you look around the A. You can take pride in knowing that you know a lot of people worked on this build, and it, it. M. Heller made a good comment a long time ago, or made a good observation a very long time ago. All the people, from from the person who originally designed the ship for the movie, um, of course Gene Roddenberry for the series, and all the people who contributed to its 3D modeling, which allowed M. Heller to import it into Minecraft. I mean Minecraft itself for example. Um, everybody, you know, I mean, is is to thank for, for what we have here. It's just, it the list would be mind-blowing if we had to run a credits list. It'd probably run for an hour fine print. You'd have to use a microscope to read all the names and stuff for all the contributors, you know. But, yeah. <laughs>
um, I sit here and I look at this and I'm just amazed that um, we can go on board this ship. We can. We can just, I can fly into it. I can do anything I want on it. You know, and it is just beautiful. Beautiful to see it all done. Coming together like this, in this way. I mean, when I started my original Constitution build way back in the day using the strategic design deck plans, and I had to build the hull from scratch, I had no idea that, that this was even possible, that I could ever pull this off. And having a 3D hull to work from, albeit it needed a lot of cleanup work, a lot of polishing, a lot of, a lot of TLC. Um, but it got pulled off. And this here, of course, is based on the strategic design deck plans, but it has an additional deck in it. Um, it's just the way it worked out. It has 24 decks instead of 23. Um, let's go here to the Arboretum. I did, uh, did a little bit of rework on the Arboretum as well. It seemed a little plain, but um, I added some stonework in it and things like that. Again, this is area that's work in progress. Um, add this little kind of out of the way area here. You know, just, uh, yeah. Back on Earth, you know? Um, little rooms in here are all filled out. And I even went through and redid all the Jeffries tubes. So all the Jeffries tubes are now uniform and, and everything. Um, little areas like this that needed to be filled in were finally filled in. Down here on the on the final deck, I guess this is deck 23 or 24. I'd have to actually count the decks to be sure exactly how many decks it has now. But it has one more than the strategic design called for. But, you know, filling in all this area in here, having to come up with, you know, nice workable designs that made sense for the, for the space. You know, batteries and making good use of all the space. And, um, you know, it, stuff that you know you would expect to see I still don't understand why this was in the deck plans but it, yeah I used it I kept it you know probably for some oddball reason who knows uh, you know technically if I wanted to I, I would have for me I would have put an escape pod here and it's a perfect space for it but who knows um, got our phaser control systems in here both sides you know, it just comes back here. You got uh, more batteries, and then there's a structural integrity field, I think, back in here somewhere. Um, there are two of them structural integrity fields and other things. Let's go up this ladder here. I forget where this leads to. Oh, yeah, it leads up here and here behind the. Yeah, and, you know, we got more stuff in here. I think this is environmental uh, control systems. Uh, this is some transceiver array for the transporters. Yes, um, I have this on the one end, but I don't have it on the other. It is it to me? It just gives it a unique look. It also balances out for the room because the this is one block narrower than the room is, so I had to balance it out somehow. So it's one block there and one block there. So I just added these in it, to kind of you know, give it a nice look. Got a little working switch here. I don't know if I can now. I knew I was going to do that. Oh well, but um, yeah, it operates the uh, tractor beam thingy here. And we have a little half torpedo room. Um, and if shoot start, you can close this so it basically becomes flush with the ship. Let's go up here real quick and uh, pass in here. I reworked the piston doors. Uh, I, I'm going to turn this on so I don't teleport out of here. I know, a little funky, but that's, you know, that is what it is. The reason it's slower on that side than on this side is I had to run a bunch of uh, repeaters so the wires wouldn't um, intermix. It's kind of interesting to watch how pistons work on a server, but <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, we worked a bunch of this area up in here. We did the catwalk, so it's uh, you know, it looks like a catwalk. All uh, the battery systems and stuff. Uh, I really, ch I could change this color of this floor to a uh, blue and gray, but I'm gonna leave it for white for right now. That's just one of those final fit and finish things I will do. Um, redid this was not in the plans, and this is one of the things I departed from the plans. To me, it made sense because yeah, you have to have access down in here, and you know. Um, 
it just seemed logical to have it, you know, because then you step across here and then you're into these Jeffrey's tubes and or areas and stuff like that, which allows you to go through the rest of the ship. Um, as more blocks are added to Minecraft, we will, of course, probably change things around and uh, come through and redo stuff. I also went through and fixed all this, so now it's not, uh, it looks darker, it looks more like a Jeffrey's tube. And of course it leads all the way up to the uh, nacelles, which were done a while back. Went through here and fixed all this up. Here's another thing I did. I um, This area here is for coolant storage for the warp core. I went ahead and added in these big nice tanks. Um, this was inspired by uh, M. Heller's new warp core in the Enterprise um, D. Go check it out. You'll really like it. He did a really nice job. I think uh, him and Mad Squirrel really do, I mean, well, granted, everybody does a better job of making warp cores than I do. So, but I wanted to have access in here, and there's, of course, this is in the plan, so I wanted to make sure I did include it at least as well as I could. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, I just love the way it looked, and I went, well, i got to do something unique. You know, i got little connectors here, and little connectors here, and I figured, got to use this ugly block someplace. Might as well use it right there, you know, and it, it, it you know, I don't like it, but it works, you know, it works. But uh, this is a small departure from the actual deck plans, of course. And I made a little storeroom in here uh, just so that I could have access to this. Because there is no way to access the forward Jeffrey's tubes to the aft Jeffrey's tubes unless you go through main engineering, which didn't make any sense. Added in these offices so that they're all in there and stuff. And let's turn that chat off. It's a, um, it's a public chat. Anybody can read it. Go on the RSD channel if you're really curious about what's being said and stuff. Um, in the plans, this this Jeffrey's tube is actually right here what I did is I wanted to have access to it to me it's it's important to have that so I moved it back so now I have access to it and of course um, let me step back down here you know it just to me it it seemed more uh, f uh, logical to have it there than it did to have it right here because this is where the door is and I don't understand why the guys at strategic design didn't catch that but a lot of the stuff, I mean, you catch that stuff as you go. Of course, this warp core will probably be redesigned at some point. Right now, it's just a functional core. Um, these here are called gravity. Um, you probably hear a vacuum in the background. I apologize for that. These are zero gravity hatches. They are only open when the ship is in zero gravity. The reason for it, it allows the crews to fly up without having to hit their knees and stuff on... Uh, on the ladders, otherwise they are always closed and not used. You see zero gravity hatches like in um, First Contact when they're using the drop between decks. Those are zero gravity hatches. Even the shuttles. Uh, it's the reason why I recognize these is I remember reading about zero gravity hatches on the shuttles. So um, I fill in the room a little bit more in here. Um, I clean this area up quite a bit. Uh, it's good to see somebody came through and did that. and. Um, I moved this uh, slightly so that it's a little bit more uniform. I also did a bunch of work down below it so it all looks better. Cleaned everything up as well as I could. I went ahead and made this door um, just permanent stained glass. You don't really need to go in there. We all know that's where Spock died and Kirk cried his eyes out right here. And then later in the other movie that just came out, Kirk dies and Spock cries his eyes out right here. It made no sense. That movie was atrocious. No pun intended. I loved it, but it was still a bad movie. Anyways, um, somebody put this in, and I liked it. I, I remember seeing something like it in the movies. And, um, take a good look there. So I just added a little go-kart in here. and Drive on down. Love the sound effects. I also cleaned up the roof area in the engineering area. A lot of detail work in here that um, had to be done and cleaned up, of course. Uh, we were just over here. That's where that batteries are. I'm um, going to keep the floor in here white because I do believe the engineering floor is white in the Star Trek uh, motion picture area and even in uh, Wrath of Khan. Mm, who God knows what it is in the other movies, I don't remember. Uh, let's go ahead. Yeah. yeah, reworking all this took some time, but it was actually, you know, a lot of fun to do. I added little coves in here for. Uh, obviously so that I could gain access to this ladder here from this ladder which is the main um, ladder now this is uh, I don't know what this would be anyways it's right around where the ship separates so that's probably what that is is a marker for the ship separate no it ain't 
Anyways, I don't know what it is for. But um, now we're into the neck area. Uh, see, it's these little things you find that you just have to fix when you find them. So the ship will never truly ever be completely finished, like I said, but it will be close. Anyways, um, this is the magazine. Again, uh, I, yeah, darn it. Someone came through and opened me, so. Um, I extended the magazine in order to have more torpedo storage. Same thing with the deck below it. I believe we went through that in one of the other um, videos. And we're back on the chat, so let's turn the chat back off. I'll probably turn all this black as well, but yeah, I wanted to show that it was a different area. Another little cove area to work in. And we work our way up, and then we have a uh, nice little lounge area. Uh, cleaned it up a little bit from the last time I was in the other video to give it a little bit more uh, feel to it. I closed this side off and opened this side up. To me, it made more sense to have that. That way, instead of having a little crawl space on this side and a little crawl space on this side, I figured, well, let's just make one crawl space. Um, cleaned. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do too much well with this. I figured, well, at this point, I'm just going to leave it like it is. Um, Oops, looks like my antivirus is kicked on, so let me go ahead and turn that off real quick and come back. Yep. Hacked once, learned twice. That's what I always say. Um, this is, of course, the separator where the ship separates uh, from the saucer to the primary section. Drive section and the primary hull separate. These are uh, interlocks. Um, when the ship separates, these basically disconnect or, or explosive bolts. If they don't disconnect, they can be exploded. Of course, they're all man they can be operated remotely or manually. You know, tick, 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 and then you run down the little hallway here and do the same thing inside. The There's, um, of course, survival gear and anti-radiation stuff or environmental suits. And uh, we have another person here. I wonder who this is. Potato. Hey, Potato, you're on a video. Ha uh ha. -huh. Um... You get a lot of people buzzing in to check out what's going on. This is red instead of all black to let people know that this is a separation plane of the ship. Uh, these should be blue, but I don't know why they're not. Maybe because it is a separation point, so kind of denote it differently. But let's go ahead and work our way up here. Uh, yes, the main cargo, excuse me, cargo, um, Jeffrey Stubes, and top of the uh, warp core. Uh huh. And the next deck, I believe, next two decks are, um, well, part of the top of the warp core. Uh, impulse engineering. This was a complete rework, of course. You saw this in the previous video for this ship. This was all a complete rework. And I'm, I'm really glad that this came out well. I was kind of sweating it. Um, I didn't think I could pull it off, fill in a nice, fill in a space. But, you know, again, thanks to uh, tips by M. Heller and others, um, gave me ideas for it. Not sure what I'm going to put in here. I think I was going to put a little workroom in here, but right now I'm going to leave it empty, um, just because. You know, just leave it empty, and probably going to be tools and a little workroom. Again, there are. It is finished, but there are a lot of little things that can be done and have to be done yet. And I love how this looks. I mean, it really came off nice. I I like that new block a lot, and I like this one. And all these blocks are really coming together. And I really like how this came out. And because uh, you get a, you get this nice little feeling that you are actually walking through a really narrow Jeffrey's tube, and I think I might adopt this sort of pattern for my next build that I'm work planning on working on, um, or a variant of it. I have an idea for uh, new ones. I also love how this looks. Kind of reminds me of Star Wars, kind of Star Wars ish. Uh, you know that you know they have them down prisoners down there and they're fighting the yeah you get it you know what I'm talking about the Death Star scene where they're fighting in the, in the cell block area uh, oh yeah I want to show you what I did over here I don't know if I did I just bumped my microphone I apologize if it uh, alarmed anyone um, somebody did a nice thing here they went through and put these picture frames in that's very nice I like the red too it really gives this chamber it tells you that you're in a narrow space um, I think I showed this in the last video I uh, reworked all of this to give it more of a uh, narrower, rounded feel. Uh, beforehand, it was three blocks wide with red, and it just didn't. It just didn't feel right. You know, it just didn't feel right. So I went ahead and redid that. Of course, um, well, we can go up here anyways. I added this in on both the TOS and on this version because you have to have access to the 
to the escape pods. Otherwise, you got to go all the way down to the center of the ship, then down, then all the way back out again. That didn't make any sense at all. Um, again, I don't know why uh, Strategic didn't catch that, but they should have. But all the crew quarters are all filled in, so feel free to move in. Um, you know, do what you got to do. Environmental again, probably. Uh, God only knows. You'd have to look at this. A lot of the, a lot of these rooms are listed in the strategic plans, so I tried to keep those all the same. Um, yeah, off or on. I do want to come through and I want to change out the lighting a little bit. So there is some, like I said before, there is some. I want to incorporate uh, what I did on the deck below, where every other light is a light and the rest of it isn't. It's kind of uh, like what Shadow did on the Steam Runner, except he used the upper bars for lighting. Um, I used the lower for lighting. But I don't like to have all these all all lit like that. It just it makes it really really bright, and you know I like to dim it out a little bit to give it a little bit more shadow and stuff. Uh, here's some of the labs. I'm going to I talked to Tim Heller about building out one of the big labs on the Enterprise D in the drive section, and I've got a couple of ideas for it. it's going to have some really big scientific equipment in it and things like that. So, but. Mm, I would like to get a standardized uh, component or build uh, list and a little area set aside to say, you know, hey, these are some of the things that we use for science labs and kind of get a list growing. So, you know, instead of having to reinvent the wheel every time, we can just go to that area and say, I want to use this, this, and this for, uh, you know, for my science lab and my ship. Uh, you know, kind of a, a centralized component area so that we don't have to keep reinventing the wheel all the time. Come back through here. You've seen these labs the last time we were on board the ship. The little, the blue lab, the green lab, I thought, or the red lab, I believe, is right here, and then the little restroom area. And then, of course, I changed this one up a little bit to make it different from the one on the other side. And let's go this way. Yeah. And we'll work our way up to the bridge, and I'll end the video there. New computer core. Actually, I want to come down here again. I departed from the plans. I, I a lot of this a lot of this turbo lift was closed off, and I decided to go ahead and you know, <laughs> uh, what's the word? Connect it to things so that it didn't seem so useless. This is a navigational computer. Again, there's a little flaw there, so we shall fix that real quick here. Uh, you, you. Huh. This is kind of odd. I don't know if that was, uh, what the heck that's, what that is, but what we'll do is we'll close it off like so. Ah, I don't want that one there. So we'll put that back. There we go. Fixed a flaw. And I'll probably run across a few of those where I'll want to fix things like that, but um, as they're found, they will be fixed. Anyways, the navigational computer goes all the way down to the sensor pod there. And we're in the Jeffrey's tube. Let's go check out Sick Bay. I think it's on this deck. I could be wrong. Might be the deck above us. No, nope, this is sick bay. Reworked the floor in sick bay to give it a, a much more. It really makes a difference when you have a nice color scheme like this. Um, it really does make a difference to how thing how it looks. And when it was all white before, it just did not look good. So I came through and I redid the flooring a little bit, kind of give it a pattern. Um, and it really did. It really did help it out a lot. Um, I didn't change the. Uh, the morgue around like I, I was going to use Mads um, um, scenario but it still has four and it sells it and I'll just go ahead and leave it the way it is a little shower and cleanup room here a little autopsy table then um, some storage of course these are like drawers for storage and stuff or they can be computer consoles depending on what ship you're on um, I expanded out the uh, one of the ORs here to include an you know transfusion bed in case they're doing transfusions like we saw one of the shows. The little office area there could be decked out a little bit. Cleaned up this area in here a little bit and of course this is the main Jeffrey's Jew we were just in. Um, sorry if my rapid moves uh, make people sick. I've gotten a couple of comments about that. Well, emails anyways. Um, it is what it is. Try to do what I can. I can't really do much with the roof of these, of these rooms until we get ceiling tiles. Hit, hit, Mojang, we need ceiling tiles. Like carpet, but they go up on the ceiling. Another mod idea. Hey, hey, I'm coming up with mod ideas here, folks. Carpet that you can stick on the ceiling would be an absolute 
godsend. I, I would I would I would let you have my babies if that was the case. By babies I mean my kittens. When she has kittens, my cat. She's as fat as a pumpkin right now, so I think she might be, you know, with child. If she is, I can find homes for all those. I got a lot of friends that like cats, and she usually only has three or four kittens at a pop. So, anyways, I reworked all this area through here as well. Um, the deck plans weren't real clear as to what this area is, so I just kind of winged it, you know, figured, well, maybe it's extended storage or something, but I'm going to leave it open for now. Um, I redid these environmental suit lockers, and uh, made the little lounge areas, and each lounge area is a little bit different for each transporter room, and I even dolled up the transporter rooms a little bit. I uh, incorporated the uh, transporter th things like I panicked insisted I do this, so I did. It looks really good. Um, it drives you nuts whenever I use this block for something other than this. <laughs> I find that funny. And of course, this is that Jeffrey's tube again. And here's a... Um, yeah, I think this is medical. Um, it's either intensive care... Yeah, this is the intensive care ward of medical. I went through here and I kind of dolled it up a little bit as well. Again, changing the floor really made a major difference. It gave it a lot more um, feel. <sighs> it is what it is. I could, you know, replace a bunch of the magenta and a couple of the iron blocks with white, but then it'd be, you know, it is what it is. I uh, cleaned through here, cleaned this up a little bit. Uh, let's check out security here real quick. Uh, security's got revamped as well. We have a larger room in here now for an office. Nice little uh, access to the um, Jeffrey's tube there. You know, security needs access to those as well, you know? I mean, come on. Uh, did a little bit of the, uh, the jail cells. I even added an extra jail cell down here because I had the room. Might as well use it. This is a, like, you know, you click the button, top parts of sink, bottom parts of, you know, a business machine for the business. Filled in this area here a little bit better. You know, added these in. You know, sit there, put your shoes or phasers up there. Uh, little washrooms. I didn't do anything in there. It's, it is what it is. Actually, I want to fix that real quick. So, uh, oh, come on, F1. Um, pumpernickel here. What are we going to do? No, that's screw it. For right now. I'll fix it later. No, I don't want to add those stairs there. You didn't want them. Also, um, as you can see, the pattern on the floor is different. It's red with gray accents. To me, it looks a lot better. This is warning. You are in a you know high, you know, an important area. Added a little in, a little phaser range in that was in uh, the strategic plans, including a. I love these blocks. They work so well. This is when I was talking about Mad's door on his um, cargo bay. That's when I saw, I did this, and I was like, man, that would really work well for a door, like a like a cargo storage door or something, and or just a door in general. And um, then I went over to Mad's build and saw that he had done that, and I was I was just amazed that you know great great minds think alike. Um, little area to reserve in here. Again, I think there might be some role playing going on, so I'll go ahead and move that again. Um, Nice little offset of a uh, of a conference table here, a uh, little cleanup room, you know, an additional shower, some storage over here, and of course, you know, reception, complete with hidden phaser compartment. Now, I thought about where would I put the armory at in here. Well, the armory actually is um, is is this thing room right here. But I need to, when I was thinking about this design after I did it, the actual armory where they store the phasers and stuff is in here. So that's the armory. Right across from where the cell block is. So when these guys break out, they just eh, help themselves. Mm, you be looking? Nope. Uh, yeah, I've been in here the whole time. No, no, I don't have a phaser. What are you talking about? <laughs> but, <laughs> red. Yeah, 
you know it's funny I mean I turn on gamma bright it's a slight difference gamma bright off so this is uh, this hole and everything else a little too bright so I would like to darken it down a bit um, let me compass out number three wow boy found something new what is this I think it's the phaser we're in a phaser yeah we were in a phaser phaser mechanism folks Anyways, let's work our way back up to the bridge here. Of course, the lower phaser areas are all done as well. Filled in all these rooms in here on this deck, and back in here on these decks. I'm kind of proud of this. This looks really nice. I might yank all these out again and put them over in a spot where people can use them for whatever they want to use them for. And let's go on up to the bridge, ladies and gentlemen. Let's work our way all the way up here to the bridge. And here we are. We are on the Enterprise A bridge. Um, the plaque is gone, so we'll have to make a new plaque. I'll leave that up to Panic. He likes to do the plaque stuff. Anyways, uh, I appreciate you watching. This is probably going to be a longer video than I intended. Uh, just showcasing off of the Enterprise A again. Um, you all have a great day, and thanks for watching.